Hey everyone, I'm Marguerite. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to curl your hair today with the Dubol Curling Wand. I don't know much about this brand, but I love me a good curling wand. So let's take it out of the box together and just see how it performs. I usually use the Sutra, the Sutra bombshell wand. It got off of Amazon. It's like over a hundred bucks. Whereas this one, they have a 70% off coupon code, which I'll link in the description box, which I think would put this at like 35, maybe $40. So I'll see how it compares to my normal wand. But I like a wand. I like the wand more than a curling iron. I can't really use the curling irons. I think wands are just so much easier. It also comes with a glove so you don't burn yourself. I just like to risk it a little, you know, live on the edge, test my luck for the day. Okay, let's plug it in. Oh, also some handy tools. You might want some hairspray. My favorites are the Oreve Freestyler and then the Beach Club Texture Spray by IGK. Got this at Sephora. Oreve, I don't think it's at Sephora. So Nordstrom, Amazon, Saks, and hair salons. So, um, my hair is freshly washed and blow dried. Some of it's still wet. Oh, maybe I need to blow dry that more. I personally love curling my hair day with the day old hair as well. I'll plug this in. All right, I got it plugged in. Let's turn it on. So there's a power button. Oh, you hold it down for a split second and then plus or minus signs. So it's at 212 degrees. Okay, it's warming up to 375. Let's see, how high does it go? It says... It gives examples. So if you have normal or fine hair, it says you wanna be between 265 to 320 degrees. Wavy or curly, you want 320 to 395. Coarse or thick, you want 395 to 430. I'll go to about 350. I, I typically have fine, but somewhat thick hair. So maybe I do need a little, we would need it to go up to like 370. Yeah, 392, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a minute. It warms up pretty fast. It's at 315, 316, 317. Okay, this warms up fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, giving that about 30 more seconds to warm up. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go in and spray. First I spray my hair with hairspray before I curl it, and then after I curl it, I wait a good minute for it to cool off, and then I spray it again. Let's start off spraying. All right, so once it's done preheating, it will it will glow blue. It was red when it wasn't ready. So now, you know, give my hair a good brush. There really isn't any fancy way to go about this, ladies and gentlemen, but you know, I always divide my hair in two separate parts and then bring it forward. And then I work from the back, take a section, curl, and then put it by my shoulder, what I've done. And I just go through. I find that this is very easy and you know, I'm not looking for the most precise curls. I just want a nice little bombshell beachy wave. So, all right, let's get started. So I take about an inch of a piece and then point this down and then you wrap away. You wrap away from your face. You can wrap towards, it's just gonna change the type of curl you get. And I typically count to about 10, one, two, three, four, or till your hair heats up, which that heated up pretty fast. So that was about five seconds. Yeah, I always cuff it. I always catch it and cuff it in my hand. That will help the curl last a little longer. Hmm, so kind of weak, but that hair was kind of wet. So let's try this one. You know, the longer you hold it, the longer you're the longer your um, curl will last. So I typically put my finger on top of my hair and when you feel the heat go through, that's also a good indicator that it's ready. Just be careful to not burn yourself. All right, that one's pretty good. Very light. It's a very pretty light curl. You know, I think the longer you hold it, curlier it will get. But I like how wide this is. I know there's a different they have a thinner one that's not so big, but I like the big barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I think the longer you hold it though, the curlier your hair will get. And then also by cuffing it and catching it, the heat will absorb and help curl your hair even more. So I'm gonna speed this up as I curl, but I'm just doing all mine the same way, away from my face. And I always catch it and then throw it behind my shoulder. Once I'm done with everything, because I like to let my hair cool off, I don't like to temper with it. Once I'm done with everything, then I will go through and spray everything again with my holding spray and then my texturizer spray, which I will show you at the end. But yeah, you get the gist for how to do this. Always have the wand down and then curl away from your face. You can alternate whether you want it to go forward or away from your face. You can alternate, that will just give you a messier curl, but I just like a little more of the uniform look. I feel like it gives you a very soft curl, which I like. Very soft. Alrighty, now this side. So take about an inch of a strand, one down. And I always leave about an inch of hair out. It just softens the curl at the bottom. Gives it a little texture so it's not so tight and spirally. But if you find your curls aren't lasting, try holding it like this, you know, right after you take it off the wand when it's really hot. That'll really help the curl stick and last a little longer and curl up a little more and tighten. go on and turn it off so just hold the power button for a couple seconds and then it will say off once it's off now I'm gonna give this a minute to let this side cool off and then I'm gonna spray everything all right so once everything's cooled off then give it a good spray and that will help everything stick You can brush through the curls if you want, but that might really help get rid of some of the frizziness, but you definitely don't want to brush, brush them all out. These are such soft curls to begin with. I don't want to brush too much. Then I like going in with my texturizer spray. And that tousles up the curl. Okay, so overall, very nice, soft, beachy curl look. I feel like this side has already fallen out. So I could go over it all to tighten it up, but I feel like um, this doesn't hold the curl as well as my other curling wand, but still I like how soft it is. I think it's very pretty. So that is how you use the Dubal curling wand, or that's how I curl my hair with the Dubal curling wand, so. If you guys are interested in buying it, I have links down below they gave me that give you 70% off. How they're able to do that, I don't know. I think they hocked up the price, to be honest, and then they give you the 70% discount to really get you to buy what, how much they originally intended it to be. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's how I curl my hair with this wand. The old Dubal Pro Series Professional Titanium Curling Wand. 
dual voltage for world travel that's great this is the 32 millimeter so there's a 19 millimeter 25 millimeter and 32 so this is the largest one they have but you know very soft very very soft curl so i'm not complaining i like it i think it does a beautiful job you can hike up the temperature if you want a much stronger curl or you can try to hold it longer or use a much more intense hairspray but i think it's pretty how soft it is very soft and feminine so thank you guys so much for watching i sure hope you're having a great day and i'll see you in another video bye